This isn't working. I need some inspiration. Where's my notepad? Let's be in the bedroom. It's not in here either. It must be in the cupboard. Oh crap! Aha! I got it! Ah, collector's editions. We see them around in one place or another, and even in different forms, and we've always been tempted to buy one, but sometimes we've had that thought in our head whether they're worth buying or not. It's quite easy to say that the gaming community as a whole are divided straight down the middle when it comes to special and collector's editions. One half think it's good value for money and worth buying to get the extra awesome game content and merchandise, and the other half think it's the biggest waste of time and money on the planet. If you've watched any of my previous videos, it will be very clear to you that I love these things. You really feel like you're buying something special when you pick one of these editions up, especially if you're a big collector like me. But let me get one thing straight though, they're not perfect. Not all editions are created equal, some are incredible and worth the investment considering the contents are included, and some are just plain pointless, whether it's contents of things you wouldn't even buy as a crappy Christmas stocking stuffer. What the hell? Or just way too expensive for what they are. Holy sh**. How much is that? I want to cover both sides and take a look at the best and worst the industry has to offer. First of all, in this video, I want to talk about the amazing editions I've come across and what I personally consider to be the best of the best. All of these editions I'm about to mention are ones I've either owned at some point or have personally seen them with my own eyes and held in my hands. So if I don't mention an edition that you love and consider to be one of the best, it will most likely be down to the fact that I've never owned it or even seen it in front of me before. So as usual, get comfortable and clean up the dust from your wallet. And join me as I list what I consider to be the top 10 collector's editions of all time. Halo Reach, in my opinion, is the best Halo game in the series, and its accompanying Legendary Edition was worthy of any gamer's collection. It's in this awesome box designed after the UNSC storage boxes, and it only gets better once you open it up. You've got the complete special edition of the game, which included its very own unique packaging, a code for exclusive armor for online play and a costume for your Xbox avatar, a Spartan embroidered patch, Dr. Halsey's security badge and an artifact bag containing Dr. Halsey's personal journal and other classified documents and effects that went into a lot of cool details about Halo's universe and lore. But the crowning jewel of this edition was an exclusive, massive, hand-painted Noble Team statue crafted by McFarlane Toys. This beast of a statue was a must-have for any Halo fan and very quickly sold out because of it. Bethesda are no strangers when it comes to these editions, so it was no surprise to see Dishonored 2 get the collector's treatment it rightly deserved. This awesome edition came with a propaganda poster, a code for some small bits of in-game content, a really nice replica of Emily's ring which you could either wear and look fabulous or display it in this lovely black and purple box, a steelbook for the game itself with artwork of Emily and Kovo on either side, and the best part of the edition, a life-size replica of Corvo's mask with exquisite detail. Annoyingly, it isn't wearable, but it comes with a stand, making it a perfect display piece for your shelf. And to round it all off, this edition also comes with a code to download Dishonored Definitive Edition. So not only are you getting all this amazing stuff, but you're also getting a full copy of the first game, making this really good value for money all around, more than earning this edition a place on this list. Just like Bethesda, Sony are no slouches when it comes to bringing out collector's editions for their games, and Ghost of Tsushima is their latest effort. This edition changed things up a little bit and offered some stuff we would never have expected. Obviously, we've got the usual hardback art book with some really gorgeous artwork from the game and a simple but stunning steel book for the game as well. But they also gave us a Furushiki wrapping cloth, a stunning cloth mat which you can hang on your wall next to your incredibly huge Tsushima war banner. But to top this all off, we've got an absolutely badass replica of the Sakai clan mask, complete with display stand. Not only would this fit in with your gaming collection perfectly, but it'll also look amazing as a display piece in any other part of your house to show off to anyone, fitting in really nicely with any other antique or decorative piece. Very fitting for one of the most visually gorgeous game I've ever played to get such a stunning collector's edition. Yet another PS4 exclusive to get an amazing edition which once again changed the usual collector's edition formula. As well as the usual hardback art book and steel book, you've got a miniature replica of the Beckoning Bell, a decent sized storage tin which out of design resembles a stack of antique books and looks awesome on the shelf. And lastly they included a fully working professional quill and red ink set with a skull pot to put the ink in. This may not be as visually pleasing as some other editions, but you can't deny how cool and unique this one is, with everything being offered meaning something special to Soulsborne fans. This is also one I regrettably do not own as I changed my pre-order the last minute to the regular special edition due to money issues at the time, but I have seen it in its entirety and it is glorious and would love to be able to get my hands on one. Come on now, you had to know a Batman Collector's Edition would be on this list, as almost all of them are pretty damn good. Well, I want to talk about the Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition. 
and no, not the UK release, but the America and Australia one. Where the UK edition comes with a statue of Batman holding up Joker, which is cool enough as it is, the America and Australia edition came with an even better statue in the form of this. I know, right? How incredible is this statue? The focus has shifted completely to Joker, leaning on a desk which itself has references and details from the game on it, and he also has loads of TV screens behind him which actually light up with the other bad guys from the game. Why didn't we get this in the UK? I came across this in CEX one day a couple of years ago and I really wish I picked this one up, it's incredible. It even comes with a DC documentary on the Batman supervillains on Blu-ray. That itself is awesome, especially for Batman fans. Where do I even start with this edition? It has so much included, it's unreal. To start with, it comes with a code to download the first issue of Borderlands 2 the comic book series. It has postcards of exclusive artwork and a hardback art book as well, with even more. It comes with a cloth map of Pandora, a Creatures of Pandora sized chart poster, field notes from Sir Hamelock detailing info about some of the creatures, a sticker set, a steelbook case for the game itself as well, a goddamn Marcus bobblehead, yes, the same bobblehead you collect in the game, which also comes in its own vending machine packaging, and then the main piece of the edition, a replica loot chain which can be used to store whatever you want in it. I use mine for my spare controllers. The paintwork on the bobblehead and loot chest matches the game's art style perfectly. They even stuck to the same style of collector's edition with Borderlands 3, but that may appear on another list. You know how I mentioned earlier how different and unique the Ghost of Tsushima and Bloodborne editions were? <laughs> Oh, they pale in comparison to this one. Let me introduce you to the Catherine Love is Over Deluxe Edition. On the outside, it looks pretty standard, right? Wrong. The only thing standard about this edition is the copy of the game, art book, and soundtrack you get. After that, you get included a t-shirt, which is one of the t-shirts Vincent wears, a pillowcase with Catherine posing on the front, and also this glorious pair of boxes, which are the same ones Vincent wears while he's in the nightmare. This edition is so crazy you can't help but fall in love with it. A friend of mine got his hands on this edition, and when he showed me, I just couldn't help but laugh. And to top it all off, the contents included come boxed inside the takeaway box from the stray sheet bar in the game. As crazy as this edition is, you have to admit the designers of this edition went above and beyond when making this. This is pure fan service through and through, and I couldn't not have it on this list. The Zelda series has had a couple of collector's editions in the past, mainly with its Wii U titles, such as Wind Waker HD, which came with the statue of Ganondorf, and Hyrule Warriors, which came with Link's Scarf. But the best one, in my opinion, is the collector's edition for Breath of the Wild. And no, once again, I'm not talking about the UK release, which I actually currently own. I'm talking about the American release, which I personally think is superior to the one that we got. In this version, you still get a copy of the game, the soundtrack, and also the Master Sword statue, which is irresistibly incredible. But the Americans were lucky enough to also get a tapestry map of Hyrule, which has some lovely, elegant artwork all over it, it also has Calamity Ganon on the other side, a Sheikah Eye collectible coin which they're actually also giving our E3 one year, and lastly they even included a Sheikah Slate carry case for your Nintendo Switch, which isn't just awesome but also has a really practical thing to include with this edition, not many companies do that really. Nintendo went on to creating a load of different collector's editions for more of their games but I still believe they have yet to outdo themselves here and I say it again, why didn't we get this in the UK? Why did you take things out of the edition for us? Did you not think English people would like the carry case or coin? Because if that's the case, then I am massively offended. Bioshock is one of my favourite game series of all time, and a Bioshock Infinite Songbird Edition makes it onto this list for one reason, and one reason only. It's not the art book, it's not the little handyman figure, it's not the lithograph artwork, it's not the Murder Crows Vigor bottle keychain, it's the glorious, artistic, drop-dead, gorgeous, nine-and-a-half-inch Songbird statue. I mean, just look at it! The exquisite detail, the solid resin base, his magnificent wings. <sighs> The only thing that would have made this edition any better would have been a still book for the game itself, but when you get a statue this good, who the hell cares? And now, this is what I consider to be the very best collector's edition I've ever seen. From Software first of all announced Dark Souls 3 with a regular collector's edition that came with a lot of good stuff. Iron-on patches, complete game soundtrack, a lovely gorgeous steelbook case for the game, a full-sized A4 art book with a lot of stunning concept art, and a 25cm statue of the Red Knight. The Prestige Edition included all of this, but they added one more key item. A huge 40cm statue of Yorm the Giant. What can I say about this statue apart from it's just perfect. Not one bit of detail is missing, every part of him is handcrafted to perfection. The base weighs a metric ton and all of his parts are linked together with magnets. Without a doubt this is my absolute favourite piece in my collection. I'm not gonna lie, it cost me a fair bit of £300 when it first came out, but considering how rare this piece is, I've seen it go on eBay and other sites for no less than £1000, so I think my money was well invested. And there we have it everyone, that's what I consider to be the top 10 very best collector's editions ever made. 
But before we go though, I just have a couple of special mentions I want to show you. First of all, The Witcher 3's collector's edition. This edition, in my opinion, has it all. A massive art book, a stunning steelbook case, stickers, cloth map, your very own Witcher medallion which is actually made from metal, and a brilliant statue of Geralt fighting a griffin. The box itself, when you open it up, has all the signatures from the developers and also a thank you letter for buying the game. I love little details like this, it makes the whole thing seem more personal and unique. But why is it not on your top 10 list, I hear you asked? Well, I have a very good reason for that. The statues were all hand painted, which sounds awesome on paper, right? But it led to a lot of the statues having really uneven paint quality. I speak from experience with this one, as when I bought my one, the paint quality was all over the place. The shading was all wrong, some colours were flat out missing, and some of the paint was even chipping off if I so much just touched it. I looked into this at the time, and apparently I wasn't the only one that had this issue. A lot of other fans were reporting the same problems I just mentioned. A lot of people did get properly painted ones though, and you might be one of them, but unfortunately I wasn't so lucky. I also have to give a special shout Shout out to the absolutely insane Dying Light My Apocalypse Edition. You ever heard of this one? No? Well, let me show you. This edition comes included with four copies of Dying Light for you and your friends, all signed by the developers, two Razer Tiamat headphones, a round trip to Techland Party with Steve the Zombie Consultant, branded night vision goggles with some adult nappies for when you mess yourself apparently, a life-size volatile zombie statue, your face on the Night Hunter zombie for when you control him in the multiplayer modes, zombie survival parkour lessons with the Ampisound parkour and free running team, and last, but certainly not least, your own custom-built zombie shelter. And this entire package comes to the grand total of... <coughs> £250,000. Yes, I am not joking people, £250,000 for a collector's edition is absolutely bonkers. We were actually taking pre-orders for this at game when I was working there when this was announced. Can you believe it? Thank you so much for watching everyone. As well as this video, I will be doing our top 10 worst collector's editions of all time, so keep an eye out for that one. Thank you so much again guys, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and we'll see you very soon. God, this wasn't worth it. I've got to get this back in the cupboard now for f sake.